What is up, AfterBuzzers? Welcome back to the Keeping Up with the Kardashians After Show here at AfterBuzz TV. We are excited to be recapping Season 16, Episode 3, titled Eat, Pray, and Fight. Who's going to win, Chloe or Courtney? Stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. What is up, you guys? Again, welcome back. Thank you for keeping up with us. We've been seeing all of your views these past three weeks, and we have been floored. Thank you so much to all the thousands and thousands and thousands of you who are tuning in every week. This is so cool. We love getting yes. to chat we with you guys. Love it. Definitely. Yes, we appreciate you very, very much. So we're going to be recapping the episode today. Of course, we've got some tea to spill during tea time and Gram Glam, where we vote for the best Instagram photos of the week. So please stay tuned for the entire show because we have a lot to cover. A lot of good stuff happened this week. But I'm joined by a full panel this week. Hey, guys. Happy Easter. I am your girl, Nakia Monet, and I have short pink hair now. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Howard the Third. Nice to be seen. Nice to be heard. Uh -huh. Hi, guys. It's Rachel. No, I'm <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> Zach Peter. Rachel got a new look. <laughs> we got some work done. It's Zach Peter, and I'm How glad to be back. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's Dakota T. Jones, and let's get it popping. Oh, so, this episode was titled Eat, Pray, Fight. We got almost everyone to the family vacay in Bali. Bali? Bali, 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 tomato, tomato. I don't know. <laughs> Bali. I go through this every week. Bali. I'm like, Bali. Um, so the only ones who did not show up were Kylie, Kendall, and Chris. Obviously, MJ is having some health problems, so they wanted to be there for her because they didn't want to be halfway across the world if anything happened. I was surprised to see that Kendall and Kylie didn't go because they... One or the other usually tends to go for the family vacations, but having the Jenners like not even show up, <laughs> what was that about? The Jenners, the Jenners are always like, we don't care. We don't want to hear all the Kardashians. Yeah. We're staying home and we're working. Yeah. Kendall's like, I'm going to be on my farm. Kylie's like, I'm going far away with my family. Oh my <laughs> the Jenners don't care. They really don't. Poor them. I wish they kind of went, though, yeah. because I like seeing Kendall. I mean, I love Kylie, but I like seeing Kendall, and she would have been doing all the athletic things yes. and running around town and exploring, and Scott needed a friend. And usually it's Kendall, so. That is true. See, but Scott would have been distracted and not paid attention to his kids because he would have been busy with Kendall. Mm, and true. Kylie would have been, like, having a meltdown on her phone <laughs> about Travis. Right. That's very true. Yes. That's very I like the group that went. Yeah. Like, the, the older OGs. sisters, the OGs, true. the kids, and Scott, yeah. who was one of the OGs. So I like OG. this group. And I do like the the Jenners and Mom and MJ kind of being in L.A. Mm -hmm. And Rob. Rob's a Kardashian. That's not there who, as well. Who is Rob? <laughs> I have not, Rob. I have not he, heard of is him. Is he in China still? <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Pink Lamborghini, just a drink. Oh Wait, is it, doesn't it say pink in the Pink, yes. it does. That's awesome. I'm the new black China. Oh, man. You're Nakia gonna, China. Nakia you're, China. You're going to be a lot better <laughs> version of her, for sure, because she's crazy. Yes. But um, do we buy it that Kendall and Kylie were there to like help kind of ease the stress of Chris to hang out no. with MJ? Like, how long do you Not think she all. they really hung out there at MJ's? I feel like they shot that scene and then they wrapped. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wish, poor grandma, MJ just wants to go home. <laughs> and to go back to San Diego. I totally get it. Because, like, you know, I was raised with my great grandmother and older people. Like, I always said, imagine being independent your whole life and now you have to rely on people mm -hmm. because they've been doing everything by themselves. And, you know, MJ has a family who's now famous and they're making a lot of money. So she probably doesn't want to feel like a burden. So I hope the girls, especially now because Kylie a mom like I hope that they would be more present yeah. in MJ's life but I feel like that's not the case yeah I mean I feel like the girls were just there just for a little bit Kylie said listen I'm a mom I'm a businesswoman I'm worth a billion dollars grandma I love you but I got to go I'm making money I'm not sorry go, grandma <laughs> I would bet that MJ made it through like two snapchat stories yes yeah. and then it was like bye grandma see ya but again I would hope that they actually spend time with their grandmother I mean, MJ I even know. said, well, it's been so long since I've seen you. I know. <laughs> MJ's like, I'm calling you out on live TV because if the you're not going to be here. The producers are probably like, wait a minute, no. Exactly. Oh, MJ, can you just yeah. take that back a line and say it a little bit more nice? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds and so I sad. wish that this was somewhat true because, I mean, the girls themselves have their own business that they're running. It's kind of hard to believe that they're going to be like, oh, okay, MJ, we'll take on the responsibilities. And it's just like, I don't, I don't see that happening. I don't. Not with Kylie running the cosmetics line and Kendall walking all these runways. 
uh, MJ is just going to be MJ. I feel like MJ needs to stay in a lane. She either needs to be on the show or off the show. <laughs> she's just like always like she's one foot in and one foot out. And sometimes she's there and sometimes she's like just like can't be bothered. <laughs> right. MJ is like literally like I put one foot in. So one foot out. <laughs> she's the matriarch though. Like she's yeah. the queen. I do True. feel like to me personally, it shouldn't matter how much money you have or how many businesses. Yeah. Family always comes first, and that yeah. is your grandmother. And I and I think they and I think they get it. And I think they know. And I hope and I, I keep saying it, but because I know they love spending time with her. But I know mm-hmm. I feel like that was just for a scene, and they were like, "Okay, yeah. thank you so much. See you next week. Hope you enjoy the salad. Yeah. Here's your paycheck, your social security <laughs> check back." MJ's yeah. like, "Send me back to San Diego." Yeah, no. <laughs> She's like, "Peace." No, I love that Chris is like, you know, I have to stay with my mom right now because she's just like really weak I'm like she's looked frail since season one like <laughs> oh <my laughs> poor MJ's gonna like break a hip in two no, seconds oh my god I think MJ's sick of everybody I think she's, <laughs> she's just like over it. She's I think she just rather it. her and Scott and ha- do her thing but I do like that Chris you know cause that is tough like you have a sick parent and mm-hmm. you don't want to fly all the way across the world mm-hmm. and you know, and the girls. In case she really does break a hip. You know. I know. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna, all of our viewers are going to be like, you guys are such haters. Like, leave MJ alone. No, we love MJ. I we love, love her. her. We just want her to be treated with love and respect. That exactly. She deserves. She's I great. love. I love her bob. It's like a, just the same look every week, and she sticks to it. Mama she doesn't MJ. need hair extensions. Not at all. She's, she's rocking like, she's the look. Got the bob. I love it. And I love seeing her more this season, too. Mm-hmm. Yes, we have gotten to see a lot more of her recently. I love the tea party with Scott, and the whole thing was great. Um, but let's talk about Bali. Bali. Yes. Bali. So we have an 18-hour flight, Oof. right? Love. Then a two-and-a-half-hour oh. flight on a smaller plane, oh. and then helicoptered in. A day. 22-hour <laughs> flight, 20-hour flight, something like that. With children. Listen, Mm-mm. first of all, shout out to everyone. Just to give you guys a heads up, I am in the live chat. So come on through. Come say hi. What's up, um, Lawrence? Hey, Lawrence. Falk the second. Hey, Lawrence. <laughs> Love it. But I hate flying, and I can barely do the four hours or the five hours ago okay. back to New York or Boston, like where I'm from. So can you imagine doing 22 hours on a flight with Mm-mm. how many children? At least what, many. Like four, five, uh, a few. Two. I'm Courtney. <laughs> Courtney was unbothered. Courtney was a mess. I said, I'll be somebody's, I'll be damned, pretty much. <laughs> if I'm watching all of your 20 million kids on this flight with my own baby, while yeah. you're over there passed out getting a good night's sleep at that. 15 hours. 15 and hours. I woke up with bags under my eyes, running around here, chasing off of your little kids. Like, come on. See, but Courtney had a good deal. She's like, my kids are grown. They can take care of themselves. <laughs> Their baby daddy is here. He's a part-time dad. That like is He true. can have his he daddy have time on dad. this flight. I'm popping a, a Xanax and I'm croaking. When, whenever she was literally like sitting there and like was so mad that she had like six lip glosses and like six. Oh my gosh. And like she had like a toothpaste but not a toothbrush. And she's like, I'm going to send my assistant a strongly worded email. <laughs> I'm like, Courtney, you should be packing your own toiletry bag. But here we are. But I feel that too because I feel like Courtney was like, well, my baby father's here. I've been doing this by myself for 10 years. Scott can do the 22 hours on the plane. Yeah. You guys got it. You know, Good night. It didn't even happen like that. Scott was like, I'm chilling too. I got rain. <laughs> Poor Chloe. She's just trying to enjoy True. It's her first family trip. And then she's chasing around all of these kids. Listen, Courtney, Chloe will be fine. Kim could do it. Kim was, I love Kim because she was in a whole other world. Kim was having She was peeking around the corner like, what's happening? Kim was in her own section. That's why she was around the corner. She said, I ain't sitting with y'all. They got a Kim section over here, honey. Kim's they kids do. and Courtney's kids were all top of Chloe, first time mom. So I think the sisters were just hazing baby sister Chloe. And they're like, <laughs> since we do it all the time, True's not old enough, yeah. here's our kids. I love that. Oh but I mean, what, did you guys think Chloe was overreacting though? Because she was doing a really great job handling yeah. everybody. But then she had like a breaking point. And then when True's stuff wasn't in her room, like people had said, she freaked out and was like, oh my gosh, they said it was going to be there and it's not there. And then Courtney was just basically trying to be nice and calm her down. Yeah. And then Chloe just snapped. At Courtney, you said that you think this was all because of... I think there was something more going on. It's usually like that. When someone snaps on you or someone flips out, it's never you and it's never Mm -hmm. personal. It's what's going on with them. And I personally feel like, you know, her and Tristan have been going through things for years now. Mm -hmm. And I think personally, maybe she got into a fight. Maybe she couldn't reach him. And I think that's why she was snapping. And I think she did a really good job for the first 15 hours with all those damn kids. And, you know, and I think she had a breaking point. I was just like, girl, relax, breathe. It's gonna be okay, but I personally think it's something to do with like what's going on back home, something right. personal, and that's and we, why she flipped out. And we know all about how she was like, "Man, I'm so upset. Like, I was supposed to go see Tristan with with True in Cleveland, and then now I have to stay for this 
like photo shoot for the Victoria's mm-hmm. Secret thing, and she just was like going off. And it's funny because Courtney was the one who didn't want to do the Christmas photo shoot and made <laughs> such a big deal about it. Mm-hmm. And then Courtney's like, "You already committed to it. Why don't you just do the shoot and then go?" Like she was just like, yeah. "I'm like Courtney, who are you? You always like just change every five seconds." A true Aries. Yeah, <laughs> I do, but I I think it's something to do low key with like you know the whole Tristan thing. Like I have to be with him to make sure he's yeah. not doing anything. Mm-hmm. And I think her nerves just got the best of her. Not an excuse at all, but I do think low key that's like ah I gotta be there like. Yeah. He's gonna end up doing something else, and I want to be with my man. It was probably that, and then the plane ride. I mean, she's already jet lagged. She's right. her, her body's already off its regular time schedule. Mm-hmm. So it was just a lot going on with her. What did you guys think of? If you guys had a choice, would you have gone to the chocolate factory, or would you have done those like jungle buggies where you were like rolling around in this like little trail? I would do the jungle buggies. Absolutely. That looks like I think fun. I would do jungle buggies. Yes, same here. Jungle buggies. I'm not the type to usually just like be rough and just like run around <laughs> in like a jeep and like almost run into trees, but it looked like a lot of fun. It yeah. did. I know I would totally crash, but yeah. it looked like a good time. And then I would go to the chocolate factory. Exactly. After. Well, I would have Kim bring me something back. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate factory. I'd be like, let's go to the jungle buggies. buggies. I exactly. know how chocolate is made. Just let me eat it. Okay. Exactly. But I like how Kim took all the kids, and and of course I know there's a team. Like, I know they're just not there by themselves. If they are, congrats and kudos. But I feel like maybe an assistant or two were there in the background. Oh, absolutely. Oh, definitely. I mean, the, the, the buses that they were riding in, literally on the door said, Cast car too. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, okay. So you know. they're the cast. Plus, uh, Chicago <laughs> and True weren't in some of the shots, oh, even at the chocolate yeah, factory. Right. So you know they with the nanny, See, which is fine. Honestly, is fine. it is my dream to literally just be like, I want to go on vacation and be put in a car that says cast. <laughs> yeah, like, I know I've made it win. You know, like I'm just myself. You know, cast, cast. might as well. Um, but Courtney and Chloe did make up, and it's so funny when they make up. It literally takes two seconds, and it's fine. And they're like. Just it's it's just silly the stuff they fight about. I, I really know. feel like Chloe was in the wrong in this situation. I do. I, I think she definitely overreacted because at first I was like, oh, she's just voicing her opinion, but it kept going and yeah. going. I was like, Chloe, and that's what made me say, you know what? Something's wrong. And you know, Courtney's really airy, so she's like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> so, but I'm happy that they did talk it out because Chloe and Courtney started off as like the best of friends. Yeah. So I hate to see them clash like that. So I, I like that they communicated and like talked about what was happening and Absolutely. Courtney just was like I'm sorry I don't pay attention yeah. exactly <laughs> I loved the scene of them on the beach together where you can see little Courtney and then Chloe who's I like know. super tall like you haven't seen them <laughs> together on a beach like that since like Courtney and Chloe took Miami right. oh and my like gosh. those old promos I was having like major flashbacks I mm-hmm. loved those spin offs those were absolutely they were crazy. amazing they were everything. Uh. I missed them together uh, shout out to hashtag number one she says I just love Scott these days I know speaking of he was man. a middleman, right? He was a middleman, but I gotta say, he was so great with the kids. He was. Mm-hmm. Great Treasure dad. hunting, doing the. I love when they were doing the metal detectors yeah. And, yeah. and the little time, I love time capsule. That. So cool. I, You and I were talking. If we were if we were like walking on the beach and we look over and we see that Scott Disick and his kids are like hiding a box or something, <laughs> you bet your bottom dollar I'm going back there at night and digging, and digging that. I'm walking by with my friends and I'm like, what are they filming over there? I'll wait two, three hours and we're all getting shovels and right. we're digging and up digging. that treasure. Absolutely. And and then we would think there's like money or like something expensive and there was like a potted plant. and like A rock. A rock, a sh- rock and a no. Like, that's like, it. It's like for real. <laughs> but I love the Mason wrote on the side of it. It was like Scott Disick was here or something pickle Aww. like I don't know something Scott, cute. Scotty pickles. Yeah, Scotty Aww. pickles. I like see, I like him, you know, with the kids, and I love seeing that. And it's cool because like you know the kids are going on this grown up vacation kind of. So I think yeah. it's cool. And Scott kind of giving Courtney time to relax and be with her fam. And I love seeing him be a dad. But I sometimes I feel like. Because, you know, there's always this, like, tension with, like, Courtney and Scott and do we love each other? And I'm like, is Sophia right. sitting at home, like, what are they doing? <laughs> Hi, I'm the girlfriend. I'm the girlfriend. What's going on? Next week, it looks like it's going to be insane with, like, the person, you guys got to figure out if you want to be together or not. And I'm over I here know. like, we've already discussed this three seasons ago. Yeah, yeah. like, I love them together, but the I don't. girlfriend's probably like, um, hi, exactly. yeah. I'm here. I, I wonder if Scott even checked in with Sophia when <laughs> no. he was on the no. trip. No. He's in love with Courtney. He like, is. So Sophia is like the the new toy he's playing with right now. I don't think so anymore. I really don't because I feel like Scott, like I I like Scott and Courtney apart better than I ever liked them together because they were just toxic and it was bad. It seems like Scott is finally somewhat over Courtney to the to the part where like they're just like co-parenting. They respect each other. They can get along now. But I really think what really helped Scott move on was. Sophia, and I think she's really good for him in a sense, and I think that he's 
she's kind of saved him in a sense. Why? Because she like taught him how to parent. <laughs> yes. No, because I don't know. I just something about her really helped him move on. Or do you think it was Courtney's boyfriends mm-hmm. that helped Scott move oh. on? Because you know when you have an ex boyfriends. and you, you you still are kind of feeling <laughs> them and then they kind of jump into another relationship and you're like, well, I guess I gotta wait on the sidelines <laughs> now. Let me see who I can find. And yeah. I do think him and Sophia, like, they got to know each other and I do think he liked her, but I I think he's madly in love with Courtney Kardashian. I think so too. And I Completely. think you can tell in that picture what that they took at yeah. the uh, at the end was Courtney was like, oh, let me jump in the family photo. And, and then like, you oh. look back at it. It's like, wow, he we do excited. look really cute. It's me, it's Scott, it's our baby that we made together. We're in Bali. Like, feelings are there. But at the same time, she didn't put her arm around him in nope. the photo. I love that. <laughs> Courtney, she's I love like, her. I'm not trying to get Sophia <laughs> mad. She's, pose. Yeah. she's like, there's and- Sorry. They're like our modern day Rachel and Ross. Yeah. Like you want to root for them at the end and you hope that like there's a plane scene in the finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians in like 20 years yeah. and you know <laughs> she picks him. But, but you're right. They are better apart because I feel like they're talking, they communicate. They're doing mm-hmm. everything that they needed to do while they were in a relationship. Absolutely. Apart, apart. while they're co-parents. Right. So you never know years from now it might be full circle and okay. because they actually communicated and had a relationship and got to know each other maybe years from now maybe they don't ever want to be together I yeah mm. I'm excited for next week's episode though it's gonna be so funny to see that whole Scott Courtney thing kind of go down because I, I think that at this point they're just trying to poke the bear and like get it yeah. some mm-hmm. drama happened during this trip but you guys we have a full news and gossip section for you so let's get into some tea time Ooh. cheers cheers everyone cheers. Cheers. boom boom cheers. Love y'all, love y'all. Yeah. Well, wait, why do you have lipstick stains in your cup, Howard? <laughs> well, listen, what I was Howard, doing before this. I was just saying. What are you doing? <laughs> and let's get into it, I guess. Can't um, Howard. <laughs> so, first on the docket. We have Kim Kardashian. She slams Lori Laughlin during an interview with CNN by saying, I would never use privilege to get my kids into college. Oh, okay. shade. Uh, but you never know. Your kids aren't 18 just yet. Right. You never know what the future looks like, Kimmy. Or do you think someone, because you know Robert Shapiro offered her that job at his law firm. Mm-hmm. And for those who don't know, Robert Shapiro was on the same legal team as Robert Kardashian Sr. And it's not like her parent used any, they didn't use any privilege, but some people look at it like, well... That's kind of privilege mm-hmm. that this top lawyer would be like, hey, Kim, you can just come work with me. I don't I know. Mean, I mean, you can't really talk to, I mean, you have babies. Talk to me in what, 10, 12 years? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel on that, yeah. though, because there's a lot of celebrities who don't bribe to get their kids into school. You know what I'm saying? That's so maybe true. she's like, I would never do that. But again, she says that now. Yeah, we have to true. wait until her kids See. are like really struggling in school. That's and true. Save and that. she's like, North, let's go. <laughs> North. Get in front of that rowboat. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have time. <laughs> North, get in your little bikini and get in front of that rowboat. North loves a good bikini. She's probably like, you're on the swim team now, honey. <laughs> I love it. But shout out to Cam. Uh, speaking about kids, uh, this past weekend was Baby True's first birthday, and a oh. lot of people were anxiously mm-hmm. waiting to see if mom and dad were going to come together. And sure enough, Tristan showed up to support his baby girl's birthday party. And there are a lot of footage and videos around of like him trying to hold the baby, and Chloe's like, ugh. But yeah. <laughs> you know, they, I think they did a good job at co-parenting and celebrating Baby True's first She's birthday. Gorgeous. She's so cute. I love her. I love the whole birthday party scene. It was so cute. The light blue was such a great. Great color. It was. It really was. Oh, baby, it's true. True so to her brand. Ah, I like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see Come you on, there. baby, true with a brand. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're literally wearing. Zach's literally wearing the color. I decided of, to it's match the true party. Blue. <laughs> it's called True Blue. <laughs> and my fragrance will be out this summer. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy that. <laughs> Love it. Oh my gosh. So let's go back to Kimmy here. Kim opens up um, about her goal to pass the bar. She aced one of her tests that she took. You know, she's on her way to representing all of us Mm -hmm. in our own little lawyer case, so... If you have a dispute or anything, call on my lawyer, Kim. Hey. You can call my lawyer, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> imagine that, like, billboard on a bus oh stop. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. It, it's, like, her with, like, the bars blocking out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, call Kim Kardashian. She's, like, text me. I passed the bar. <laughs> <laughs> with a black bar over. That's awesome. I, I love it. 
Oh, oh my God. Well, as you mentioned earlier, Robert Shapiro has reached out, mm. or he has commented about Kim wanting to become a lawyer, and he says that if she ever wants to do it, he's going to give her her first job at his law firm. Mm. Do you think that this is privileged? Privilege? Absolutely. Because yes. her, he worked with her father. They were infamous for the OJ case. They set him free. So obviously they're doing some good some good work. They're both known for setting people free. <laughs> <laughs> and some people who may have not have, should have been well, I mean, like as far as for OJ Simpson, uh, we don't we don't think he should have probably been let out. But who knows? Or wrote a book or two or a movie to detail. I can't yeah. OJ. But I know. Um, I think it is privilege. I don't know. It's so it's one of those things where it's like not the purpose that she probably asked for. But what's the it's difference? Like, but what's the difference between this and being like and just and not being famous, but yeah. like having two dads that work together. One of the daughters grows up, and he's like, "Hey, you can have a job at my law that's, firm. You grew up. I saw true. you. I was friends with your daddy before he died." That's you literally what that is. So that's yeah. how much she made the comment about Lori. I was like, "You probably wouldn't go to the extreme, but now that you're an adult, your dad's friend is like, "Hey, you can." You didn't go, and the thing in uh, LA, you don't have to go to law school to take the bar. So she was just like, "Oh, I, I'm taking my test, and yeah. I don't really have to I mean, go to law school." She yeah. she is apparently doing very well, acing her tests. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, people, a lot of people have doubted her. She wrote a long paragraph on the photo that we showed earlier of her studying. I I'm telling you guys, you should go read it, kind of see yeah. what her plans are and what she's up to, because it seems like she's not taking this lightly. So no matter what people think, she is putting in work. It may not be the traditional way of going through college and doing all of that, but she's wanting to do this to be more educated. I don't necessarily think to be a lawyer, but I think probably just so she's well-educated and able to help more people. Yeah. I mean, how that. thirsty is Robert Shapiro that he wants Kim Kardashian to come <laughs> <laughs> She's starting her own KKW <laughs> yeah. law firm. Okay. Robert Shapiro was like, oh. You know what's crazy? I get free legal advice at my KKW pop this weekend in Culver City. <laughs> yes. I love that. Free legal advice. Yeah. Um, it's crazy because one time I actually like was with a friend who was doing Postmates or some kind of Grubhub thing, and I was riding with her. And she gets the notification like that we had delivered to Robert Shapiro. Oh snap! And so I don't know if it was that Robert Shapiro, but we literally showed up and this old man came out and like grabbed the food, and I was just like, "Was that like I I don't know if it was actually him or not?" But I'm like, "Would that be a weird coincidence if there was someone else named Robert Shapiro?" That's probably that Robert Robert Shapiro. Shapiro. The house was incredible. Also, maybe. Oh, it was some kind of like Chinese food, (laughs) like. Very expensive Chinese food. Uh-huh. That's that Robert that's Shapiro. Robert. <laughs> yeah, because he's not ordering Panda Express. No, you know what I mean. Like me, I, that's all I eat. Whenever I, I really wanted to just like, I just wanted to go up to him and be like, "Yo, you know what? You did something wrong. Let no J out. I don't oh. know how you can eat your Chinese food in peace, but here you go." <laughs> Delivering with the bottle of OJ. Hey, oh. but you know that's like a lot of uh, defense lawyers. I think you just do your job. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes you get shocked, like I think that whole team was. When you hear not guilty, and I think you're like, oh, okay. Oh, so we working. Oh, okay. <laughs> All <laughs> so, right. <laughs> same yeah. thing with prosecutors. I think they just do their job. And But shout out to Kim, and she's been going to classes and all that stuff. And she gave a shout out to Van. Um, Van Jones, I believe, not Van Lee, but Van Jones, who's been helping her through this process because he's also been working with prison reform. That's mm. awesome. Well, this is like jumping topics completely, but we might have another Jordan Woods scandal on our hands. Wow. So, Larsa Pippen was seen chatting it up with Kim's ex husband, Chris Humphreys, mm-hmm. at Coachella. Mm-hmm. It was all over PrezHilton.com. It was a big scandal. And then Larsa quickly commented The convo lasted all of three minutes. He told me he's known Scotty since he was 14 and that he loves him. And I said, so do I. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm still iffy about Larza. Like, I don't know if she's a good friend, a bad friend, or, you know, just a friend to be there. So, I'm, like, in the middle with her. Even if she's a bad friend, though, like, Chris Humphreys is not the sloppy seconds you want. No, true. That's true, but she allegedly hooked up with Future, so that's somebody I wouldn't mm-hmm. want. So that's just a whole nother topic. A whole other story. But I will I give you Larsa. I'll give Larsa this. She did speak out almost immediately. Yes. And was like clearing the air, where as the Jordan Woods scandal, there was some guilt there because yeah. it actually did happen. But also, but- Larsa's 45, and this is not an excuse. Jordan's 21. And Larsa was already dragged for the whole future thing, so I think as a grown woman, I feel like, you know, as a grown, I know for me, I'm older, so I know someone younger than me, I have the experience to be like, "Uh uh-uh, you guys are not gonna drag my name in this, whereas like, this young 21-year-old girl who's never probably been in a scandal part was like, I don't know what to do, so I think if Jordan turned 45, she'd probably do things differently. 
she wouldn't hmm. go on Red Table Talk with Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'd still do that because I'd do it. Honestly, I do it. That was so inter- like I was I was like I remember when it aired I was like on Facebook ready. Ready. Listen, ready. Popcorn. And I think, yeah, and I think because that's family. If it was anybody else, I don't think she would have. But because like, family was like, we'll talk you through this. We got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spill all the tea. Spill it, girl. Spill it. Well, speaking about spilling tea, mm-hmm. kind of. I know that I was on Instagram the other day and I was like, let me just see what Khloe Kardashian's up to. But I was stopped. Because her page was private. Oh. And people thought she was being a little shady because last week it was Baby True's birthday celebration. So, you know, people were in the comments being weird, saying things about Tristan in her comments. And I assumed, I was like, oh my God, did she make her page private? What's happening? But then Chloe came out and was like, oh my God, I had no idea that even happened. My bad. And then she opened her page oh. up. So. I believe her. I, I do think too. It's I believe it too. can happen. I mean, glitches happen. Things mm-hmm. happen. And yeah. I mean, how many people have access to her Instagram? Maybe an assistant or two that uh, accidentally made a mistake. I mean, <laughs> even if it was private, they have like how many millions of people okay. following? Like, it ain't that private. <laughs> and that's what I thought at first. And then I was like, I know I pressed so many buttons on Instagram where I, sometimes I'm like, oh, what's happening? So I can see her like, oops, I didn't even know. Can you imagine mm-hmm. her sitting there like approving all these? Yeah. No. Oh, oh my god. Like, that one's not Tristan. That one's yeah. not Tristan. <laughs> she has 90 million followers. So yeah. I totally believe that. She's like, I'm capping it. it off. No more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want 100 million. Many. It's canceled. <laughs> Too much to deal with. Yeah. Too much responsibility. Oh, man. I mean, still keeping on with Chloe. Uh, Chloe posts a quote on her Insta story uh, that says, Dear men, close your eyes. Imagine you have a daughter. Imagine she is dating a guy just like you. Did you smile? No? Then change. Ooh. Ooh. So, I mean, her. I love her little Instagram story. She always has these little tweets, or not little tweets, but little, like, quotes and messages in there. We don't know if she's talking about somebody. We don't know if she's just posting this. But I like it. She's over there giving some shade. Yeah, she's honey. always she's, throwing shade at Tristan. She's always subbing, mm-hmm. throwing a lot of sl- subliminals at Tristan. But that's what you do. Listen, sure do. you mm-hmm. mess up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote tweet everything about you, Tristan. So, <laughs> and I know he's watching her page. I Definitely. Know yeah. So. Like you, a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a little shade to throw at Mr. Travis Scott. Ooh. He's got a very big bill to pay. He has to pay four hundred thousand in in penalties for canceling a performance. Wow! Oh my gosh. So this was a Super Bowl performance uh, back in twenty eighteen, and he um, he canceled the perform. He canceled on actually doing the show and so the company then responded and they're like no you signed a contract you were supposed to be there so you have to pay us back the advance that we gave you which was 150000 and wow. damages on top of that because <sighs> so it was around the same time as um I believe is as Stormy's birth when yeah. she was born. Mm. So they're saying they're thinking that maybe it was in relation to the birth of the baby, and he wanted to take time off. But he also performed in Vegas that same week. Oh, Travis. Oh, no. So that's, that's why they're saying like, no, you can't blame it on. And he tried to blame it on weather issues and on his plane not being able to make it. But he mm. still performed in Vegas, <laughs> and he had a baby the same week. Like you know, you, you got to play more. Next time I don't want to go to work, I'm gonna be like the weather <laughs> and <laughs> the plane was I not in my favor. I could be twenty make minutes it. away. You should have been here on time. You only live twenty it. minutes from the store. I'm sorry, you can't go. <laughs> the weather have a little is bit funny. of a cough. <laughs> Travis tried that it. Is oh. A hefty bill. To pay. Oh my god, yeah, it really is. is. Mm. Well, you guys, we all know that Eunice was all up in Courtney's comments about Ooh. a week ago, um, and yeah. he attended Courtney's <laughs> four. 40th birthday party. Are they just friends? Are they cordial? Because there were there were other picture. exes there. Or is this just Ooh, purely just friends weird. now? Listen, I think, you know, my good sis just turned 40 years old. And I think, listen, she's single and she probably wanted some B Day D. And baby boy probably pulled up and baby boy. I just love this picture. That's a fabulous picture that you it know. Is a great Why is his picture. suit so over I like, know oversized? <laughs> She, I love it. Child. She turned 40, and I think she was having, like, a bachelorette moment where she's like, she wanted the D, and she's like, but which one of you yes. is going to bring it tonight yes. to get it? I Who gets she, the final row? Who gets the yes. final, yeah. I think her and her sister was huddled up, and she's like, which one do you guys think? Because exactly. Luke was there, Luke Sabbath or something. Yeah. Luca. Luca, or whatever his name is, from Gronish. Yeah. Well, so Black, was yeah, French Gronish. Montana, who's Chloe's ex. It was a lot of exes Weird. in town. Yeah. Scott, of course. Eunice, Ooh. 
It, it, she it was, was a lie. She was like playing spin the bottle with all of them around. She's like, which one will get this 40 year old tree? I wonder why she invited <laughs> Eunice. Like, what made her say, like, invite my ex up? Other than the It's date. the birthday, honey. But still, she I don't know. Send him a sexy pic. Don't have him at the party. She has to show off that 40 year old bod. And that's like, this is great. what you're Come missing. Come on. That Spotlight. dress was good. Everything. Still get it. Speaking of all having her cake and sweet too, Kanye West oh, <laughs> is going strong and it is Easter today. And Kanye West took his, I guess, Sunday performance that he does at the house every Sunday, Sunday where service. he's re performing songs from the 90s and <laughs> calling it a church service. Well, he took his talents to Coachella and then had a Sunday church service there. But a lot of people were up in arms because he was selling merch. For like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, and yes. calling it church clothing. It's like Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, and the clothes look like I could have made it for y'all. And <laughs> church socks. I, you know what? You know, my mother told me if I can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. So I won't say anything. Yeah. I didn't like the clothes at all. Yeah. I'll say it for Nakia. It was just they were just ugly. It's like he keeps selling these ugly clothes and shoes and repackaging and rebranding it, and everybody's eating it up. When honestly, you can go to Walmart and really get the same type of clothes. Oh. Mm. So if you really do your bargain shopping, you can definitely find similarities where the knockoff brand looks just like Yeezy. I will say, when I walked up into church today, there were so many people who were wearing things that looked Yeezy-esque. You can really, you, you can know, really, if you really bargain shop, Marshalls, my, my Ross. question you is, you don't even need a bargain shop. You just go through all your old clothes. Exactly, and tie dye. I just want to exactly. know the songs that he is performing, like from a legal point of view, like are people suing him because he's performing classic '90s songs that if people People don't know. He can be like, oh, this is a church service. I'm like, no, you're singing songs. You're singing Crystal Waters and CeCe Pinnison. <laughs> I know that music. Yeah. And these people are still alive, so I just wonder. They're like, hmm, you're exactly. singing my songs. Or did they give him the okay? But today at performance, he had DMX, Chance the Rapper, and he had Kid Cudi there yeah. with him. So. And he well, wasn't even on a skate stage. Yeah. No. It was very interesting. It's in the field. It was, yeah, like in the field, and then people were around. They had security blocking off the middle of like the whole grass area. So the fans were so far away from yeah. everybody to the point was like, well, why would I even go to this? Jim Jones. I can't even see anybody up close. I heard it was four hours. They were. Oh my gosh. I believe it though. As That's a Kanye. past Coachella goer, I would be very upset if that was happening. I would Because there's a lot going minutes. on at Coachella, and, and I'm not standing there. Mm. They but were hungover and looking for Jesus. <laughs> <and Kanye laughs> Serving it to them. While singing <laughs> da da dee da da da. I guess. Happy Sunday. Poop to scoop. Scoop to poop to scoop. Hey. <laughs> but shout out to him because, you know, that's his second or third time performing at Coachella and. Kudos. Kudos. I mean, if he can sell fifty dollars church socks and some raggedy old hoodies, then like, props hey, to Seuss him. People are buying it. Hey, Jesus Christ did not rise today for Kanye to be selling three hundred dollars sweatshirts. I love you because but I they, agree. They had the Holy Spirit in them. They wanted the Holy Spirit on them. <laughs> Kim's probably like, we did not agree for this. Okay. Kim's like, I don't What's know who going you think on? you are. <laughs> She's like, and you can buy my sunglasses and KKW. No, right. right. KKW. Well pop up. Absolutely. Well. <laughs> Before, <laughs> before we wrap, you guys, we have to play our fun game of Gram Glam. Woo. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so basically, you guys know the drill. Every week, we vote on who had the best Instagram photo of the week. So first, we've got Kim here. She is lounging on this couch wearing Ooh. her oversized sunglasses wow. that are probably going to be a part of her collection. Looking great. Those love boots. the boots. Yes, Killer. love the boots. Absolutely. I just took your man. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Pull up, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna check me, boo? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the second photo is of Courtney. She is... Uh, Ooh. Maybe it's an alcohol. Oh. It might be an alcohol ad. I'm not completely sure. I'm top shelf. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh Dang. my gosh, I'm using that. I'm okay. top shelf. You gotta be with liquor though, Dakota. What? Liquor. You don't like to drink? Well, I like to drink. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're gonna talk about it on air, but yeah. <laughs> Your next picture, you have to have a glass. Yes. Yes. yes absolutely. Glass. And then, of course, we've got Chloe here with Ooh. Baby True on this cute Aww. little horse. Oh my gosh. That's how you oh. celebrate your baby turning one. Like, look at me, body mm -hmm. snatch. Right. Okay. She probably like took the original photos and was like, "Hold on, I actually got to arch <laughs> yes. my back a little more." Because <laughs> that's how I take my photos. I'm like, ah, I don't like these. <laughs> oh. Redo. Uh, and then we have Kendall who is giving us Aww. Old Town Road vibes. <laughs> Me. She looks like she took her horse to the Old Town Road. Yes, she does. Um, and then, of course, Kylie showing the legs. Ooh. Oh, okay. 
Ow. She said, I'm athletic, too. Don't forget, I'm a <laughs> Jenner. Doubtful. She's like, this is how that Stormy is happened. <laughs> oh, my favorite pose. <laughs> okay, so you guys, we have yeah. a lot of great photos this week. I think oh. this week was probably one of my favorite uh, that we have to vote on. So... Ah. This let's is a tough one. do this. Let's think about it. Let's manifest. Have mine. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. oh. So, Everybody, somebody different. Zach and I both chose Courtney. Zach, yes. why did you choose Courtney? She's just looking great. Whether this yes. is an ad or not, she is top shelf in my book. I love yes. that. And she looks great at 40. Like, Hello. give it to She's me, Courtney. She looks mm-hmm. amazing. Definitely. Absolutely. Who did you for? Oh. <laughs> One oh, well, I, I chose Chloe because she's my girl. She's Aww. over there just serving it in this whole little unicorn thing. Um, showing us baby, showing us mm-hmm. body, showing us hot. Yes. Summer is coming, honey. Get ready. Get ready. Here I am. And I chose, of course, Kim K. Because she's like, here I am. Who's going to check me, boo? She looks great. Like, though she's fully clothed, even the boots are, like, thigh high, mm. she still looks amazing. And I just like that whole outfit. She's yes. like, I'm about to scam a drug dealer. BRB. No, I have my sugar daddy's funeral. That's literally what oh. she looks like. So I love it. Listen, Robert Shapiro, I'm coming for you. <laughs> the new Legally okay. Kim. Okay, all legally right. Kim. Well, you guys, we had so much fun recapping this episode yes. with you and spilling all the tea. We love you guys. Thank you again for watching. But in the meantime, where can everyone find you on social media? You guys can find me on all social media at Kiki Boom Boom and on Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Howard and I are on a show called yeah. Back to Reality. Awesome. Yes, you can find me, Howard the Third, on all social media at Howard the Third. Of course, my website, HowardTheThird.com. And like my girl Nakia said, on Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, back to reality on BHL, and the Now Apocalypse After Show on uh, Afterbus at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ooh, and I'm Zach Peter. You can follow me at Just Plain Zach all over the internet, and my podcast, Hashtag Adulting, is back this Tuesday. Yes. Yes. All right. You guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. And of course, every week I'm up uploading a cover song and Ooh. I've got some original music coming too so stay tuned That's for great. that we guys we guys all of us here <laughs> at After Buzz TV we love you and thank you so much and we will keep up with you later bye, bye. our founder Kevin Undergaro and me Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV remember we're not just the first we're the biggest in the world and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows whatever you crave we've got it So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. (laughs) The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.